Yeah, I feel like this is rarely seen in probably 85% of sets. It's Small Battlefield or PS2. Small Battlefield, I think, kind of taking over the mantle as the true starter, most neutral stage in the game. Yeah. But this one's going to be a little bit different. Either way, nothing crazy to expect from this stage, right? you got the platform in the middle, but it's not too much of an interference. And both characters love having that because of their juggle games. So we'll see how much it plays a part. Either way, it's just been a scrap so far. 70 plus on both of them. Yeah, the sharking here is going to be phenomenal because you have that full coverage with the uh, the giant platform uh, for both players. Both players can really access that platform really nicely. Lower ceilings. Ooh. And look at that. Off stage, doesn't even matter. You're going off the bottom, not the top. So looks like Sifir is playing a little bit of the same game we saw in the uh, the first set with them. A lot of spikes, a lot of coverage off stage. I love that. Wow, popping out of the saw blade into an up air free reversal for Sifir. And of course, he is going to play that to the fullest. Oh, almost another spike. Jeez. My god. I mean, I love following up the movement of the down air. Recognize that that was a moment of vulnerability. <laughs> and we're not stopping yet. Sifir is just going all the way out there. So far, we lose the stock, but it's worth at this point. Toa has got to figure out how to find his footing right now. Big worth. We're going to take that all the way to the bank and then some. Oh, god, a 70% opener. Corin, one of those very combo friendly sets of weight and fall speed as well. And of course, a tall frame, right? Falco is having a field day with this. Yeah, the, the pillar combo has ah! been so good. And the last little hit of the Nair, finding him all the way up there, the low air speed for Corrin going to be the bane of that game. Just because Co Toa cannot escape fast enough from Sifir. Bro's got me sounding like Howard Dean out here. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that, was, that was insane. I feel like the first stock was cool. Right, yeah. you got a spike. It was that mix-up of, oh, oh yeah. will he or won't he press the button immediately? Yeah. Should I air dodge? Should I up immediately? Then the second stock, it was all about that forward smash charge not linking into the full hit. That started so much yeah. for Sifir, and he was able to take another stock off of it. Yeah, that, that, was, another like, one. that was like hitting the nitro like for, for him. He yep. was like able to play at super speed. But I mean, I feel like he's also feeling really bold going out stage, like off stage, challenging Corrin Uppy of all things, which is usually something that a lot of people give a wide berth to. They don't want to go out there and challenge that, but Sifir does not care. Sifir is going to go out there and, and be that challenge. I love that. Oh man, hitting all the juicy openers. The up tilt, of course, gonna link into so much for so long. It's still on the table to combo into back air and potentially end this stock immediately. Love the tech chase. Wow. Does an initial dash forward and stops short of committing too hard just to make sure if they roll in, which is very likely in the corner, we're still getting some more damage. Oh, side B, almost the back air afterward, too. Okay, yeah, good air dodge to avoid the back air. This time, Toa still going for the bread and butters, but it's so predictable. Sifir knows the boring game plan, it feels, and we're going to be able to uh, Falco, yeah, fire, uh, Firebird right into that pin. No worries. All right, back air is going to cover the Phantasm. Hold on. How did we get an almost even game, bro? What is going on here? Corrin can nickel and dime you a little bit. It's like that sort of... Uh, Couple hits here and there could turn into more. We have some decent advantage states for Toa so far, but we gotta find more here. Just one, not like almost 100, you're not gonna get the kill just yet. Shield looking like an M&M right now. Ooh, okay, catching the roll in again. Sifir just playing patiently, wants to bait and punish Toa. Okay, this is so tense at the ledge here. Corrin can cover so many options so well, but Sifir gonna be a mixture of patient and just fast enough to get back on. See that falling up air just in case Falco had any ideas, any delusions of another spike. Wow. wow. Just trying to delay as much as he can. A lot of mix-ups here on the ledge, but I feel like you're playing on borrowed time, and Sifir, one forward air is definitely going to do it. 150 post hit, so we're going to find a, a return off the Angel platform. Toa gets one free shot and makes it count. So we're two stocks apiece, and this is more competitive, but Toa, it still feels like is losing a lot of these neutrals. And that's the danger here because I feel like once Sifir wins the advantage state, like the the damage is so much more uh, on their side. Like they're able to take 60 to 80 percent, and Toa is just not getting too much in their couple hits here and there. We could see a replay of the first stock though, where even though it's looking terrible at the beginning, just a couple hits, some of these two pieces from Corin could be a ton of damage. All right, yeah, what do you do? Pin, obviously, it has low priority, meaning anything in the game will clank it out. We saw it happen with Firebird. See it happen with almost anything else. Yeah. 
I gotta wonder because you know Toa is doing the right thing, still staying alive, but too far above the ledge. The down tilt getting scooped right up. That could have been more, but is still okay here. Gets the pin, sends Sifir off, but fighting for center stage. Looks like Sifir right back in, and these forward airs have been so crucial at catching Toa. These multi hits, he's just not ready for. A miss by a hair on that down air, a feather maybe, but it's gonna be the pin. Catching, what was that, Firebird startup? Yeah, it was, it was, right. it was like, it was mid-Firebird. So we actually got it, like it wasn't even startup. We actually just outranged. Okay. There's still a chance here for Toa, but I don't know, it's not a good one. Vegas odds, oh, okay. not looking great. Okay, avoiding that, still look for a Trump, not gonna get it, good get up option from Toa, just wanted to get out of dodge as fast as possible and it pays off. Still stuck on the platform, I, you gotta get off there, man! Ooh. Get off of there! Thinking that he was safe for just a second. Like, all right, he missed the first back air. Surely you won't do another one. But this is Falco we're talking about, baby. If 